Nothing beats a quick, easy meal. In less than 25 minutes, you can whip up this chicken chow mein. It's easy, it's delicious, and it's cheap. Let's get straight into it. To start, we're going to need 350 grams of boneless and skinless chicken thigh. Slice these into thin, even strips, making sure you have sliced all the way through so they're completely separated, and the same size so that they cook at the same time. For the sauce, add 40 milliliters of dark soy sauce or light soy sauce to a mixing bowl, 60 grams of oyster sauce or hoisin sauce, 40 milliliters of Shaoxing wine. If you can't consume alcohol, just leave that out. 20 milliliters of sesame oil, 12 grams of granulated sugar, and then just a little bit of ground white pepper to taste. Then get a nerve of a whisk and just mix this around until everything's evenly combined. Add the chicken that we sliced before into a mixing bowl. Add in two tablespoons, roughly two tablespoons of that chow mein sauce. Then get in there and mix this around. You can use a spoon, some gloves, tongs, whatever you need to, but just make sure everything is evenly coated. As for the rest of the ingredients, you can use pretty much whatever you want here. I've got leftover mushrooms in the fridge and this is 100 grams worth. All I'm doing here is just thinly slicing them. Next is 150 grams of green or white cabbage or even Chinese cabbage if you want to. I recommend separating the layers, it makes it a lot easier to slice. And then we can just thinly slice this or chiffonade the whole way across. Next, we're going to need two small carrots. These could also be large, no one's here to judge. Just top and tail these and you can save those scraps for a stock or compost depending on what you want to do. Slice them in half to make them easier to work with, then take a strip off the side. This will allow the carrot to sit flat without wobbling. And then we can slice these into thin, even strips the whole way across. And if it becomes a little bit wobbly, you can just slice it horizontally, but just do it nice and safe. Once you have that done, stack the strips up in twos or threes and then we can slice these into thin matchstick cuts. And this is also known as julienne. We then need four cloves of freshly peeled garlic. Use the side of a knife to crush them just with the blade facing down so you don't cut yourself. This will activate the allicin compound, which is what gives garlic its strong flavor. Then we can roughly chop this. Just make it nice and fine. It doesn't have to be too perfect, just as long as there's no large chunks. Last but not least, we need four large spring onions or scallions. Roughly chop this and you can separate the green stem from the white root end if you wish to. And just make sure it doesn't go everywhere like it has for me. Now we're going to place a large wok or a large pan over a high heat. Get this smoking hot, then add in two tablespoons or 40 milliliters of peanut oil. Bring that back to the smoking point. Then we can add in our chicken. If you need to, do this in batches, don't overcrowd the pan. And then we're going to stir fry this only for about two to three minutes, just until that chicken's beautifully cooked through, has beautiful color and smells fantastic. Then we can remove this from the pan, add it into a bowl or a plate just to stop the cooking process and place that same wok or pan back over the high heat. Once the pan's back at a smoking point, we can add in the mushrooms as well as that thinly sliced cabbage. We don't need to add any oil here. The mushrooms will absorb anything that's left in the pan, but then they'll also release their moisture once they start to cook. We're going to fry these off for about two to three minutes just to slightly soften and gain some color. Once that's achieved, we can then add in the carrots. Same again, just stir fry this for about one and a half minutes just to soften those carrots. Make sure you don't spill it everywhere. And you can also practice that flick of the wrist with the wok. It's a lot easier to do. That's pretty much what the wok's designed to do. But just don't leave it off the heat too much because these do cool down quite a bit and it will stop the stir frying process. Next to go in is the roughly chopped garlic as well as the spring onion, both the stem and the root. You can separate them if you want, add the stem in a little bit after, but we're going to continue mixing this round. Just stir fry it for another one minute just to get that garlic infusion in there and to slightly soften those spring onions. We don't want them completely cooked through, we do want that beautiful textural crunch. And this right here is a beautiful colored mix. I'm adding in 250 grams of bean sprouts. These are optional. You don't have to use them if you don't want to, but they're cheap. They're a good filler, add a little bit of color as well as texture. And if you do add them, just continue stir frying for a further one minute just to get them a little bit soft. Let's then reintroduce the cooked chicken as well as any resting juices and the oil left in the bowl. I'm using 350 grams of fresh egg noodles. If you're using dried, just follow the packet instructions, drain them off, then add them in. Add in the remaining sauce that was in the bowl. Just make sure you give it a stir beforehand. Then all we have to do is continue cooking this for one more minute for those noodles to become hot. Make sure you mix it really well, getting everything combined in the sauce. Also be sure that you're gentle as well so you don't break up the noodles too much. Then we can remove this from the stovetop. Serve this in bowls or plates, whatever you like to do. Eat it straight out of the wok if you really wanted to. And this recipe will serve roughly three to four people depending on portion size. And garnish is completely up to you. I don't think it needs it. And this right here is our chicken chow mein. As always though, there is only one thing left to do. And that is we can then dig in. This is everything you want from a stir fry. It's quick, it's easy, it's cheap. It tastes absolutely delicious. And you can use a whole load of different vegetables or different ingredients you have lying around in your fridge. That's what I did with those mushrooms. I didn't want them to go to waste. And of course that chicken is absolutely beautifully cooked. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Helps me out, helps the channel be seen by more people and consider subscribing along with hitting the bell notification next to it. So you never miss when I upload and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.